fast, focused, and fearless. Here's everything you need to know as you jumpstart your day. I'm Pauline Rosasa. The Marcos administration has revealed its candidates for the upcoming 2025 senatorial elections. Now these are Interior Secretary Ben Hur Abalos, Makati Mayor Abi Binay, Senator Pia Cayetano, former Senator Panfilo Lacson, Senator Lito Lapid, Senator Aimi Marcos. A former Senator Manny Pacquiao is also there, as well as Senator Bong Revilla, a former Senate President Tito Soto, Senator Francis Tolentino, AXIS Representative Erwin Tulfo, and Las Piñas Representative Camille Villar. A congressman Erwin Tulfo shares how he became one of the senatorial candidates of the current administration. Here's an excerpt from his interview on The Big Story. We heard that the president called you just last week. Uh, what was that conversation like? Well, uh, he invited me, uh, asked me actually if uh, I wanted to join the uh, administration senatorial lineup. And I said, like, baka gusto mo kami tulungan, tulad sa DSWD. So, di ba ako nakatanggi? I said, uh, yes, Mr. President, I, I will. Mm. So, Kong Tufo, you were okay to leave the house already? You're, now you're moving to the Senate. Uh, uh, yes, because uh, I was invited by the president and uh, sabi niya na pwede sila ng tulungan, uh, particularly sa Senate. So I said, okay, Mr. President, uh, I, I accepted uh, okay. the uh, invitation. There is now a very real possibility that there will be three of you brothers in the Senate uh, because, of course, Senator Rafi is there. Tapos, you have been, you and Ben have been uh, topping the senatorial preference surveys by various uh, uh, groups. Uh, what do you think the dynamic would be like if it ends up that there are three of you in the Senate? Well, as uh, people, uh what uh, we usually do, uh, of course, uh, yung ginagawa namin, helping uh, the needy ones, uh, yun ang magiging mga batas, kasi nag-usap ka kami ni Tol Rafi, napag-usapan din namin ni Tol Ben noon pa, uh, he was saying, uh, yun naman talaga ang focus lagi ng family namin, is public service. Mm. Uh, hindi namin nakakalimutan, first and foremost, serve the public. So, I guess, uh, doon din tatakbo yun. Pero, uh, for me, uh, sinabihan ni kami na Pangulo, lahat kami na 12 candidates na to focus. Uh, ganun pa rin sa poverty alleviation ko. Kung po pwede, the laws that we will be filing or the bills na dapat nakasentro sa poverty alleviation, uh, uh, economic growth, uh, and uh, much more. Hmm. Or when, who are you closer to between Ben and uh, Senator Rafi? Uh, magkasunod kami kasi ni uh, Senator Rafi, so I'm closer with Senator Rafi. He is uh, three years older than I am. Hindi mm, naman po kayo nag aaway away There's no disagreements, usually. Mm, well, pag siblings, of course, may mga discussion. <laughs> we, we were trained, uh, we were disciplined by our father na always obey first yung mga mas matanda sa'yo. You do not uh, disagree in front of him. Uh, you go to ikanga, parang may chain of command sa amin. You go to the mom, mm -hmm. kung uh, hindi ma-resolve the mom, or elder brother mo na Mon, kung hindi kaya resolve ni Mon, to the mom, and kung hindi kaya mom, to my dad. So yung pinaka parang Supreme Court namin is our dad. A senatorial aspirant and Makati Mayor Abi Binay expressed no qualms about being in one coalition with Senator Pia Cayetano. Recall that the Binays and the Cayetanos were in a rift because of the Supreme Court's decision to transfer 10 Embo barangays from Makati to Taguig. Makati is the Binays bailiwick, while the Cayetanos control Taguig. Binay said that she has no issues with Senator Pia, and she joined the senatorial slate because of President Bongbong Marcos. Hindi naman talaga ako close kay Senator Pia. I'm really more close to before. Kay, ano po, kay Mayor Lani. I have no issue. Wala naman po akong issue with Sen Pia. I agree to join the alliance because of the president. Sino naman ako para magsabi kung sino yung gusto kong makasama at hindi makasama. Diba? 
Meanwhile, former Senators Tito Soto and Ping Lacson are also willing to run under PBBM's ticket despite losing in the 2022 national elections. Now, recall that Lacson lost to Marcos in the presidential elections by a wide margin, while Soto was also no match to Marcos's running mate, Sara Duterte, in the 2022 vice presidential polls. Palagay ko naman na a unified approach for a better government or for a better future for the country is in the offing. Obviously, makakatulong na maganda. Welcome back. You're still watching One News Now. I'm Pauline Verzosa. The Makabayan Coalition also bears its Senate slate for the 2025 midterm elections. Now, this include ACT Teachers Representative Franz Castro and Gabriela Representative Arlene Brosas, Modi Floranda of Piston, Mimi Domingo of Kadamay, and Jocelyn Andamo of Filipino Nurses United, as well as Jerome Adonis of Kilusang Mayo Uno, former Congresswoman Lisa Maza, and Bagong Aliansang Makabayan Chairman Teddy Casino. Also included in the lineup are Ronel Arambulo of Pamalakaya, Danilo Ramos of Kilusang Mambubukid, and Moro leader Amira Lidasan. Obayan Chairperson Teddy Casino expresses optimism about achieving a more effective campaign with a larger slate for the Senate. And here's an excerpt from his interview on StoryCon. Paano niyo maipataas yung profile niyo and address those uh, key concerns na mga butante natin? Um, iniisip namin by this time, baka naman ang mga butante hindi na lang iniisip yung kung ano yung makukuha niya. I think uh, yung na, naging leksyon dito sa Duterte at Marcos, eh, tumitimo yan kahit pa paano sa ating tao. And I think the time is right for an alternative kind of politics, a politics of, mm. yun na nga, uh, ideologies and principles. And ang ginawa talaga namin consciously is we chose candidates that came from the grassroots. Talaga, mm. ng, uh, manggagawa, totoong manggagawa, totoong mangingisda, totoong magsasaka, totoong nurse, teacher, daycare worker, uh, someone from the Moro groups, uh, an activist, uh, so para ipakita na hindi lang puro political dynasties ang choice natin. And we hope that by making this contrast, na makita ng taong bayan, o nga pala, pwede rin naman pala ang taong bayan sa Senado, we hope that we'll capture the imagination of uh, our voters. And uh, kung hindi man manalo yung buong slate, um, I think uh, kahit pa paano, we will make a, uh, a mark in politics, which, we'll, which we can uh, work on and uh, and uh, group on in the next uh, elections. Uh, Teddy, uh, bakit labing isa yung uh, kandidato? Yung last slot ba for negotiations? Or uh, talagang labing isa lang yung if field nyo? Actually, nahirapan din kami sa labing isa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kasi ang, ang hirap talagang kumuha ng kandidato, of course, ang unang iniisip, eh, kaya, kaya ko ba? Ah, no? mm -hmm. So, ito yung malalakas ang loob. And uh, also, it provides some kind of a flexibility uh, for those uh, who are members of the party or, or supporters of the party. Baka naman meron din silang ibang napupusuhan. Uh, so probably it's the best of both worlds. Okay. Teddy, you, you said that um, you, you want to introduce an al alternative kind of politics to this country. You've been saying that. I mean, the whole militant movement has been saying that since 1987, which you just mentioned a while ago was the last time you fielded a complete ticket for the Senate. So, it, since 1987, Teddy, uh, parang hindi nagbabago. <laughs> De, kasi Ang since, botante. Kasi since 1987 nga, uh, medyo traumatic yung nangyari noong 1987. We fielded seven. Meron pa hanggang, hanggang local, ano yan eh, partido mm -hmm. ng bayan fielded until the local levels. Grabe yung violence, no? grabe yung uh, bira na naranasan and it took uh, more than it took around 14 years bago nakabawi The Bagong Aliansang Makabayan is preparing to push for the filing of an impeachment complaint against Vice President Sara Duterte in Congress The group expressed confidence about the basis of the impeachment complaint against VP Sara 
These include betrayal of public trust due to the vice president's refusal to explain her office's previous spending of confidential funds, as well as graft and corruption after former education undersecretary Gloria Mercado revealed that VP Sara allegedly bribed her. The group expects progressive legislators to file their complaint in November. Ang tingin namin, ang choice na lang ni Sara Duterte is either to resign or eventually to face impeachment. Uh, tingin namin marami pang ibang lalabas na mga issues uh, na tinatago. I think we are just scraping the surface of the anomalies na uh, kabahagi ang Vice President. In-expect natin, madaling makakakuha ng endorsement. And in fact, the House only needs 106 congressmen to sign on the endorsement for the impeachment to go straight to the Senate. Don't warm up too much on your seat. This is former Senate President Mig Zubiri's advice to his successor, Cheese Escudero, and the future Senate Presidents. Senator Zubiri said this amid the alleged coup plots against Escudero. The senator said it is normal to hear coup allegations against the Senate President, especially during session breaks. He also revealed that one senator even pushed him to replace former Senate President Tito Soto, but he refused to entertain that plan. May lumapit sa akin, um, asking me to, if I was uh, interested, taking over the post of Senator Soto. Yes. Mm. And uh, I will not mention who it would be, who it was, but I told them flatly, no, I can't mm. do that to my, to my SP, because as majority leader, you have the trust and confidence of the Senate President. And those are the top stories of the hour. Join us later at 9 a.m. as we continue to monitor the day's biggest stories. I'm Pauline Verzosa. We are One News.